Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and today I want to talk about the insert adjacent element method inside the JavaScript document object model. Um, so essentially this method right here allows you to insert a new HTML element um, that is adjacent to another element. Um, so it actually works very similar to the append child and the insert before methods um, where it lets you actually insert a new element. Um, so it's probably easier to um, demonstrate this uh, with an example. So um, I've got this HTML document right here and um, we're going to actually create a new div um, which is a large black area um, and then use the insert adjacent HTML, um, sorry, insert adjacent element um, method to actually insert a new element um, inside this div and also outside of this div. Um, so inside the source code for this document, um, let's begin by creating a new div um, and giving it an ID of area. Okay, so div ID of area. Um, inside here, we can make a new h2 tag and put some text inside there. Okay. So now if I was to save this and refresh the browser, um, we get this look right here. So um, we're going to actually make this div um, have a large black background um, and white text. So uh, back inside here, let's just go inside the CSS for this document and uh, target the ID of area and set the background color um, as being black. Uh, the color as being white and the padding as being 25 px. So this is just for visual um, purposes. So now I can save this and refresh and we get this one right here. So um, we're going to insert a red div um, in one of four positions using this insert adjacent element method. So um, we're going to insert it before the div um, as a first child of the div, as a last child of the div, and also after the div finishes. So um, inside the source code, I've actually written down um, a few positions, and these positions right here are actually passed into the insert adjacent element method. Okay, so um, what I'll do first though is actually just target a new. Um, ID inside the CSS um, just to actually create the red box. So I'm going to call this uh, an ID of box right there and give it some padding of something like again 25px and a um, and a background color this time being uh, uh, red. Okay so um, now I'm going to create this div with an ID of box using JavaScript and then we're going to use this method right here to actually add it to the um, to the document object model. Okay, so inside the JavaScript, let's just first get a reference to this ID of area. So uh, let's make a new constant down here, and we'll call this one area equal to uh, document dot get element by ID. We're going to pass in area right there. So now we have a reference. Um, to the actual div and ID of area. Okay, so um, below here, we're going to now create the um, the red box element. So let's make a new constant, uh, call this one box equal to uh, document dot create element. Okay, we're going to create a new div. All right, so we have that right there. Um, now we're going to just say box dot class list dot add sorry not class list so um, box dot id equals and then box so now um, we have a div with an id of box so now um, this class will be targeted or um, this class will sorry this css rule set will target um, that box right there okay so now um, we can finally use the insert adjacent ht sorry um, element method. Okay, so down here, let's say area. So targeting um, the actual black box dot insert adjacent element. Okay, um, this takes in two arguments: 
The first one being the position of where to um, place the element. So we have four options right here as previously mentioned. So let's just say for now, um, before begin, and this will insert it um, before the actual um, black box has um, began. Okay, so as the second argument, you pass in um, the element to add. So I'm going to pass in box right there. And so now if I was to save this and refresh the browser, um, now we see we get that box right there. So I'm not sure why I put padding for this one. Um, but anyway, we can see that the, um, the uh, red box gets added um, before the black box begins. Maybe I should actually add some margin um, just below the um, the box. So let's just say margin bottom as 10px, save and refresh. Now we can see that um, uh, the uh, red box gets added before um, the div ID area begins. So now this ID of box is a child of the body and not the actual area um, black div. Okay, so that is how you can use the before um, begin position. So if I was to say um, after begin inside here instead, I can save this and refresh. This time we get the box inside um, inside the area div um, as a first child. Okay, so before um, uh, that child right there. Okay, so um, if I was to change this now to the before end, this one, um, refresh, this time we get the, um, the red box below as the last child of the area div. Okay, and finally, um, the after end uh, position right there, um, this time we see the box appears below um, the actual uh, area black div. Okay, so that right there is how you can use the insert adjacent element method inside the JavaScript document object model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.